Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Moneybags McP. We're coming to you with, uh, I'll do my top with six sell water reels here. Um, not just me, I would say universally, a lot of these reels are well known to most of the guys in the sell water fishing community. Um, I'm going to kind of start off at our uh, basic or more entry level reels and kind of work our way through. Um, so, for the price and performance, this thing is perfectly fine. The Daiwa BG. I think this is 4,500 size, you know, uh, very appropriate saltwater spooling size. So 4,500 is um, more of like a 6,000 Shimano sizing. Um, so you can go a step below on these guys, you know, for 130 bucks is 4,500. Um, mo yeah, most people with uh, basic maintenance will get this thing to last uh, quite a few years. Huge main gear on these guys, great value price. Everybody knows BG. For a little upgrade on the BG, still based off the same platform, we got the Saltus here. Um, a little upgraded on the bearings, is the, the super anti-corrosion bearings on these guys from Daiwa. You get the mag sealed, so it's gonna keep the salt water out, keep the sand out, gonna help it last a lot longer. Um, nice big air bale too, so I like that. Uh, usually tends to be the most fragile part of any salt water reel, so anytime you can beef that up, get it nice and strong. This thing's gonna even hold up a little bit longer and perform a little bit better. Um, for most of the surf guys like me, this is an Altegra 5500. Uh, this is one of the, the long spools designed basically for perfect line lay, long cast, um, nice and strong. This is CI4, so super, super light reel here. 5500 is probably what I would run off the beach. Um, these things cast like an absolute rocket, and like I said, a little weight. So that's nice for that. If the distance, so there it goes. So absolutely, um, probably my workhorse here. I can't recommend them enough. 200, 300 bucks for this uh, 8,000, but sixes, fives um, are will be coming in. There, we're a little short on them right now, but perfect for the beach. Also, great boat reel. These um, nice strong gear in them sealed up nice big power knob and butter smooth shimano notorious for just i mean come on can't beat that and beautiful reel too the aesthetics of it is really nice for uh for well under that 400 dollars mark even for the big ones going up uh to the next tier the salt x everybody asks questions about this guy Six thousand, perfect size um for your probably eight to nine to ten foot rods all the way up and then they do the four thousands would be great for your seven eight foot rods for schoolies lighter in shore or uh, lighter more medium seven foot boat rods would be perfectly fine these are probably um one of my one of my highly recommended for under 400 bucks for the surf uh, i still do a fair amount of maintenance on this to keep it operating perfect but first for something that's submergible um that can hold up really well full of stainless gear on these things like i think the 6,000 is like a stupid, like 50 pounds of drag. So more than you can hold on to. Um, they hit up great and the silvers look pretty sweet if, if you ask me. Everybody knows I got a little soft spot for the vannies. Uh, not the cheapest of what's up here, but as far as absolutely overkill, main gear is enormous, drag is super strong. Um, everybody knows this thing is meant to be submerged. You can dunk it and fish it and dunk it and fish it and dunk it and fish it forever. Um, this is a 200 size, good all around for the beach, probably nine foot to 11 foot rod is what this is gonna match up with. I, uh, I love a 150 size as well. Um, deep cut spools get a lot of line capacity and like I said, these things will just hold up for years and years and years. Um, so if you plan on fishing for the next 10 to 15 years, this might be the long-term investment quality really you're looking for. Um, we come, these come in silver and in black, uh, both are great options. I would probably put a power knob on this guy, just uh, tip it off, make it that piece de resistance. Um, but these are probably my top six. Um, no particular order, but we kind of did it as far as price-wise. They're all beautiful reels, and they will all get you out fishing and having a good time. I think we're gonna get to the questions now. Best bang for your buck. Um, honestly, it's not the cheapest up here, but I think that uh, Saragossa is probably your best bang for the buck. It's still 250 bucks, around that. Um, but for how versatile it is, um, how smooth it is, 
I love them and I feel like this is a good, um, this is money well spent right here. Best reel to pair with a canal rod, 11 foot heavy, two to six ounces. Okay, um, we don't have it up here right now because I kind of prefer the Van Stahl for the Pinnacle over here, but uh, Saltiga um, would be a great option. Something maybe that uh, eight to 10,000 size, Saragossa would be really good. Um, I'm trying to think of something else, but I would go Saragossa, Saltiga, Stella. Probably be my uh, pinnacle top three there. Best salt water reel for a reasonable price. Kind of um, the same thing I just asked you. You know, it's a little bit, but um, you know, canal is a little bit different. When I consider a salt water reel, I, it's probably a guy who's talking about beach fishing. And I would say um, for the money, probably Salt X 6K, I think is the, you know, under, uh, under 400 bucks or around that mark in a submergible, you know what I mean? You can fish it pretty hard. Would you rather have durability or smoothness? Um, I would rather have durability, to be totally honest, in my personal circumstances, but I feel like a lot of these, to a certain extent, um, you can find the medium, you know? There's any reel that's gonna have full ring seals to keep it, um, or semi-waterproof, or IPX6, or whatever they call it, um, is gonna have drag, so you're gonna have resistance. Um, a lot of these reels, like the Salt X, uh, they generally break in, so like after the 25, 30 hour mark, they get a little bit smoother. Um, but I fish a Van Stahl, it's probably the most unsmooth thing you can get, but it lasts, and for my surf reel, that's what I want. You kind of touched on the pros and cons of slow oscillating long cast spools versus regular standard reels. All right, so these guys, when casting distance is paramount, um, they're gonna cast a little bit farther, but they're also gonna uh, improve the line length. So that's what you're getting out of the super slow oscillation. Basically, the braid is laying on top of itself. So it's coming off the spool a lot smoother. You're gonna get more consistent casts without getting wind knots. Um, and then, like again, these are CI4 materials on this, a super light reel, um, but that's basically why you've got a super slow oscillation, long spool, longer cast, better line line. What do you look for in a good saltwater reel? So I like something that's at least some form of sealed uh, that probably has either a huge forged aluminum gear or probably a brass gear in my personal preference. Um, if it's smooth, that's nice, and also a good handle. You know, I like to be able to, if I get a random hit or you get a solid hit, I like to be able to grab it and have control, you know? Especially if your hands are slippery, you know, we're getting wet, landing fish, they're slimy, and uh, grip is paramount. Ray, right here's an interesting question, for sure. Mm. Spinning reel that can handle stripers in the canal but can also jig from a boat? Um, so generally what I recommend is, for the Shimano guys, is like an 8,000 plus for the canal. Um, you could definitely use it for bigger stripers jigging, um, but it's a little bit on the larger side. So you can do anything you want. There's no, uh, there's no rules here. It's just uh, what's gonna be the best like fishing experience for you. If you're fishing a really big reel, something that's heavy like that, and you got more line capacity than you really need. So I hate to say it, but this is why we have like 14 rods because they don't all do one thing. You can find a little bit of a compromise. I would probably maybe go with um, with a Daiwa just so you can get with a with a smaller reel, you can get the line capacity to kind of do both, you know? Best tuna spinning reel for the money. New bigger Saragosas. Um, I love the Vanny. I got spooled on my Vanny, and the next day I bought an 18,000 and a Van Stahl rod. Uh, it's under 800 bucks, and I just put braid on it. It got me out, and probably won't get spooled by it. You know what I mean? And what was it, under under 800 dollars? So you're getting a whole combo for like Stella cost for just the reel. So and you can't you can't just hand line it in off of Stella. So. 
I think this is it for the day, guys. Um, I appreciate all the questions. Love doing all the videos. These are like my top six. Um, hit up in the comments for anything else you guys want to see. Any more questions. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe, all the Gusamic stuff. And uh, have a great day, you guys. The spring is on its way. It's like 40 degrees and sunny out there. I'm going fishing after work. Hope you guys are too. Boom.